my name is Dennis and welcome to Fishing Lake Country. Today we're going to talk about another type of swim bait. Let's watch some of these clips of some fish I've caught on this bait and then come back and we're going to talk about the swim bait. You guys are hit me, he hit me at the boat. <laughs> he hit me at the boat, reeling it in. I'm gonna tell you one thing. Woo! Some of y'all think a swim bait can be too big. These things have great action. I'm gonna tell you about them at the wall, exactly what they are. Let's catch some more fish on them. Gosh, guys, this act like he's a good size. He is a decent one. I'm fishing from the bank, and uh, I done it for I done this for a reason today, guys. Come on up here, buddy. Yeah, I done this for a reason today. You know, most time when I do videos about baits and reviews, I do it from the boat, and I thought I'm gonna go down here and fish from the bank. All right, you can see this is the area gets fished a lot. They even leave the chairs there, don't they? They're nice fish, look at that. And the uh, road passes through here. You can hear the cars and stuff. So let's see if we can find another one. Goodness gracious, come here, fish. Oh, there you go, guys. I ain't gonna let him up and lay him down right there for a minute. On his butt. Got him. We all think of that. Now look what I was throwing. This hook is sharp too. Okay, that's an MC swim bait. Nice fish one. Yeah, belly on him. All right. Let's see if we can find another one. <laughs> oh yeah. He's just throwing a fit in it. Come on up here. Oh, he's a spotted bass. Now I put I changed back to the white guys. He's a small fella as far as length, but look at the belly. <laughs> look, great time of day. Guys, they're starting to school some here. They've been schooling for a while. As we go into fall here. And it should get better. The water. The water has not cooled as much as it should have. The water still around 72. All right, that's all I'm doing, guys. I'm just, this is a nice swim bay, has good action. I'm just throwing it out. And you can put this thing on by anything. I've been, I've got, uh, I've been using it on the underspin too. Uh, it's got a tail, like I showed you the tail hog. The tail's kind of square looking, but it's a, it really is a nice swim bait. Really is a nice one. This is the white. Look, you can see through it. Yep, it's got a long swim and it's real soft. Look at that. But it's tough enough that the fish are not tearing it up. That's cool too, right? All right, guys, I got another one on here. That's a great quit. They broke right here on me. Spots. Spotted bass. Y'all see them still breaking down here in front of me? They broke, but time I hey, quit. He's about the same size as the last one, but he's a bass, guys. How'd you do that, buddy? Look here, still breaking right here in front of me. <laughs> oh, you ain't gonna believe this. You ain't gonna believe this. A nice crappie. <laughs> Here I was out there crappie fishing half an hour ago. 45 minutes ago, couldn't find any. Come in here and catch one. And I found some, I didn't find something that was interested. That's a nice crappie. On the underspin. I'll take it. That's a nice one. Oh, he's coming at me, I think. I don't think he's that big. Yeah, he is a nice one. Didn't think he was that big. I'm gonna make a little noise here, guys. Uh 
Alright guys, I'm sorry. I want to make sure she was recording. My, uh, said I had a low battery. And every time I move this camera, it makes noise. I'm sorry. But it's nothing worse than getting out here and trying to film something and got to deal with the camera. Sometimes, some of y'all guys are YouTubers. I know that watch my channel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know exactly what I'm saying. Sometimes it's just... You just doing all you can do and you, and your camera ain't doing nothing. Alright guys. That's a nice little bass in it. Cut him on an underspin. Let me get him back here, guys. See ya. Um and this is an M MC swim bait. I'm gonna I'm gonna share this swim bait with y'all. Let me get it down where y'all can see it, duh. I'm going to share these with y'all guys. I got them three or four different colors. Uh, it's just a tail, basically what it is. You can put it on, on a, any kind of head. I'm going to share this with you later on. Let's see if we can catch some more fish on it. And I'll, I'll do an outro and share that with you, okay? Okay, guys, what did you think? This bait done well, didn't it? Okay, some of these bass I caught this evening. And I'll show you my rod set up I caught. I caught them on this Danelli. It's a six foot eight medium moderate, as you can tell by the bend in it, couldn't it? It's got a lose laser guy. I bought that in a combo about three years ago. I put 12 pound fluorocarbon on it. I've been using that reel. I've caught, you've seen that reel in my videos. You've been watching them. That's what I use for, for small swim baits, okay? This is just a plain old piece of lead. It's a generic head, guys. I looked on Tackle Warehouse. I didn't buy it there. I thought I did. There's a local tackle shop over at Clarksville, Virginia on Kerr Lake that carries a lot of good stuff. And that's where it came from. So he just has a collar on it. Nothing fancy. Just a ball head. It's got a side tie, though. And uh, I, I don't know what brand it is, but I do know there's a family that makes stuff around here. They make shaky heads. They make all kinds of stuff like that. And is, and he has a supply of them. He has them. And it's a hardware store here close to him. It has them. So I'm sure that's where they came from. They didn't come from the warehouse. Okay, let me tell you something about these. These are called MC Swim Baits. And this is an MC Swim Bait. The company's MC Swim Bait. But they call this the MC Swim Bait. All right, because they make six or eight different baits. This is considered a tail because it doesn't have the head and the eye. But once you put it on a lead head, for example, the Matt Allen lead head, that's a great one. I use those. It has an eye already on it. Dobbins now has a head. It has the eye already on it. Okay? So once you put it up on it, you'll have your eye and your head. Strike King, you look at the shape of their heads. And some different ones like that I've used. There's some good ones out there, guys. This is a three inch. They make them from three to five. The three inch ones are 319 a pack. I'm going to tell you that because I looked it up a little, good, a little bit ago. I want to make sure I was giving you good information. And the five inch, which I don't have, were 450 a pack. So they go and they make three, four, and five. Guys, they make 19 colors. 19 colors. That's great because a lot of swim baits don't have a lot of colors picked from. And they have brilliant colors like this. This is called Shark True Shad. Look, you can see through it a little bit. It's got some little, it's kind of like little silver flake in it. And it's got that Shark True Stripe down it. Now, I caught some on that this season. Like I said, I went fish a little bit ago while I was waiting for a video to, to uh, be saved as I was working on, on editing. Okay, this is white. This is also a three and a half. It's called White Lightning. You can see through it a little bit. It's got the white on the top. I've caught quite a few on this one. They tore it just a little bit. So they're pretty tough. And uh, they have a great tail action. This whole back of this thing, guys, it's kind of like a Kytec, but it doesn't have that gray big wide. I'm using a Kytec. A lot of y'all know what a Kytec is. It doesn't have that gray big wag. It has a little bit faster, tighter wiggle, but it has good action, okay? Now this is a four inch, and this is in pepper shad, okay? You can see if you can't quite see it, it's kind of a milky color, and it's got that big black flake in it. And I caught one on that, and I didn't throw this in as much, and I don't know why, because our water is clear right now. Clear as water we've ever had here, I can remember, guys, because uh, we ain't had any rain. So there you go, they're coming three to five, Inch size guy, you can't beat them, they're great bait. Hey guys, my name is Dennis, this is Fish and Lake Country. Please subscribe. I'm taking baits like this, guys, I'm buying baits, fishing with them, and I'm stopping like this and telling you what I think of them, guys. And uh, if I think it's a really good bait, something you should try, I'm sharing it with you and telling you about it. These are excellent swim bait bodies, they work good, they have great action, and the fish seem to like them. <clears throat> Hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that like button. It helps us a lot here on YouTube. And we'll see you next time on Fishing Lake Country.